said that I was told I would be getting 15 year sentence plus a mandatory two years. So you understood when you wrote this motion that it was going to be at least 17 years, right? When I spoke to him and I kept asking him, was it going to be 15 years, he was saying it was going to be less. So why did you put in your motion that you were told that it was going to be 15 years plus two? That's 17, isn't it? Because he kept saying it's going to be, it may be 15 years, it may be less. It may be 15, it may be less. But I just put that in there because, I mean, that was a set number. Like, take it to trial and lose. You're no, gonna you didn't say that. You said, when I said I didn't want to take the deal, you said, I believe that's a good deal for a murder, too. Yeah. At sentencing, I'm not going to be anywhere near 24 years. It's going to be close to 40 years, so don't ask for any leniency in your sentence. Okay. Sentence. And then the same day as I was leaving, I was Mr. Roberts was sitting down or standing by one of those chairs right there outside this room, and he said, uh, 40 years is a long time as I was walking by. What, if any, effect did that have on you? A, a lot. For the judge and the prosecutor to, to, to tell me that I don't have a chance, basically, at trial, that, that, that's a lot. Then what Mr. Swanson said, what he said, is I got to take the plea. I mean, I ain't feel I had a chance. I don't feel I got a chance now, but, I mean, I got to do what I got to do. Judge. Now, Mr. Swanson told you, did he not, that he believed he could work on your behalf and get the judge to come down from that number. He yes. told you that, didn't he? Yes? Yes. And then when I came into that meeting with Mr. Swanson, it was one of the room, one of the conference rooms right outside this hallway, right? Yes. And at that point, you asked me for less than the 20 years, didn't you? I asked you if it was going to be less than the 20 years, like to basically agree with what Mr. Swanson was saying. Right. And I told you that depending on what was said to the people that you were going to talk to, that that was a possibility that could be less than 20 years, right? Right. I never told you that your sentence was going to be 15 years, did I? You didn't know. I never said that you did. Well, I'll leave the judge to his recollection of what your testimony was from earlier, but you asked me for less than the 20 years, right? No. You never asked for that? Well, then what was our conversation about? You saying that the judge would take into consideration everything that Mr. Swanson was saying, that it would be less than 15 years. Less than 15 years now? Yes, that's what you said. And that's what Mr. Swanson said. And that's what you agreed to. You said, well, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's really up to the judge, but it won't be 20 years. I said And I said specifically, well, he can give me 19 years. It, it, that's less than 20 years. And you said, well, it, 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 it won't do that. He won't do that. But I said it could be less than the 20 years. Right? You said it would. You and Mr. Swanson both said it would be. And that was based on the understanding that you were then going to sit down with federal investigators and give information to them about an extensive drug smuggling operation, right? Yeah. Which you then turned around and did, right? Yeah. You met with them for several hours right in the jury assembly room, right outside this courtroom, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. And that was right after you took your plea, right? No, it was in the process of 